do you even realize that it had already become such a huge hit on whatsapp on social media there was nothing which could have stopped you because your film was promoted by bjp government you were accused of hang on hang on hang on no i am surprised you are doing my interview as a journalist who did not do any research people say you are political but you you have an agenda so tell us what your agenda can you say no we are not Which Indian film will be sent to the Oscars? Uh, Anurag Kashyap coming out openly and saying that I don't know what film anyone anybody is going to pick. I hope not Kashmir Files. And you've responded by saying the vicious genocide denier lobby of Bollywood has started their campaign against the Kashmir Files. Here the problem with the Kashmir Files is that first uh, a certain section of Bollywood and obviously in media and whole lot of other places also. First, they didn't want this film to be made. Once it was made, they didn't want it to be released. Once it was released, they didn't want it to be successful. Once it was successful, they were saying, "No, no, 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 it's not successful, or it's because of this and because of that." And now they are coming out and saying it shouldn't go for Oscar. So I'll tell you where is the problem. Because your film was promoted by BJP governments, you were accused of hang on, hang on, hang on, no, I'm being protected by it. Hang now, on, when on, other films on. are, I'm, the point I'm making is, I'm, I, I, I want to know where does. creative freedom will creative freedom as a result be lost because of these battles that are taking place within bollywood and audiences also are getting polarized as a result okay first let me just correct you have very beautifully inserted a nuance saying that kashmi files is bjp promoted i am surprised you are doing my interview as a journalist who did not do any research we started promoting the film in the month of november before even it came to india on 11th of march before anybody knew even within the bjp what i have made more thousands of people had seen that film our holding was put on times square by donations of common people of america then in europe it was seen by thousands and thousands before even it came to india for release the film was had more than 30 screenings all over do you even realize that it had already become such a huge hit on whatsapp on social media there was nothing which could have stopped you despite all that the film released only in 600 screens it's only on when friday saturday sunday and monday when the film really bounced and became one of the all time blockbusters then the media politicians everybody in india started noticing my film but do you even know how kind of attacks visual humiliation isolation deplatforming i have gone through did i crave about it do i play a victim card any time but why these people play with tin card your films are being boycotted tell me one thing if bjp could support any film then mr modi the film which was on his biography would have been a blockbuster now films don't work like that tell me have you seen these films who have not worked are they good films mai mai kya batao mai kya batao it's now got much more polarized would you agree that the polarization we are seeing in society or in our politics is reflecting in the hindi film industry calls for boycotts calls uh, the latest being lal singh chadda the manner in which right wing social media armies targeted the film called for its boycott now these are all new elements adding to a certain viciousness that perhaps didn't exist before uh, no again you are making exactly the same mistake which bollywood has been making is the arrogance of bollywood which says that the people are wrong and uh, first they under they first they assume that audience is stupid they can just package anything and sell it to them then slowly they stop caring about uh, audiences because their films were going to ott but now the test has come back to theaters so instead of blaming the audience it's like somebody manufactures a toothpaste a call gate and then they start uh, ridiculing all those people who brush their teeth with the uh, uh, toothpaste in the morning uh how long the audience the, the customers are going to buy that toothpaste i don't know uh, similarly i mean you cannot ridicule the audience and then then believe that audience is going to uh what you feel boycott is an individual's right if people are boycotting it there must be a reason are baap re ye to dhoti khol raha hai go to any middle class urban semi urban indian household ask them conduct an interview do a research you will find people hate the arrogance the lifestyle the disconnect of bollywood with the real life this is the problem when your student is going to not look like a student of uh, india if your mothers if your families nothing is going to be relatable 
if your hero is not coming from the common is not a common man who's fighting the social evil instead of your hero's problems are all first world problems this kind of and on top of that you comment on every social issue and national issue which suits you you stand up for caa but you do not come out in defense of nupur sharma or you don't criticize the beheading of a person in udaipur people say you are political but you you have an agenda so tell us what's your agenda then you say no we are united so all this kind of hypocrisy uh, arrogance and the flashy flamboyant lifestyle paid organized pr campaigns all these things people have seen through in last two years during covid and now they are not willing to accept it achhi baat boli aapko achhi lagi to aise thoda maar dijiye haath aap thoda sa maar dijiye maar dijiye ek baar maar dijiye kyun kasht ho raha hai aapko agar achhi lagi maar dijiye